So today we're going to review the business class in Philippine Airlines. Let's go. Hello, Tom. I know about your success, about your YouTube channel. I am sure that you are going to be expanding and growing more and more. Saludos, Tomas. Hey, guess where I'm at? I'm at the Le Saigonais uh, Business Lounge. And actually, I am going back to Canada for about two weeks. It's been three years since I've been back to Canada. And um, because of the COVID-19 pandemic situation, uh, most people's travels have been restricted, including mine. And it's been three years since I've last been back to Canada. And uh, I actually don't really want to leave because there's so much things happening in Vietnam. Uh, but I gotta go back and uh, take care of my, my things over there. I got cars and boats and they're probably all broken and I have to go back and take care of my house and everything. Uh, probably I'm gonna be busy doing that for the whole two weeks. Today I'm gonna review Philippines Airlines business class, okay? That's the purpose of this video. Uh, usually I travel through Taiwan, Japan, or Korea, but for whatever reason, this time I'm traveling through Philippines. And also I'm going to see my business partner in, in Manila, Philippines. So that, that, that actually worked out really, really well. So today we're gonna review the business class in uh, Philippine Airlines. Let's go. Actually, we're running a little bit late. Uh, you see the uh, gate is already empty. Everybody's already boarded and we're just trying to get on. Hello. Yeah. Yes. Boarding pass one of these. And passport. Okay. Thank you. Hi. All right. So there is the plane. <laughs> Making a video here. Say hi. Okay. Uh, hope this is gonna be a good flight. See you soon. Uh, this way. Uh, business. Okay. So uh, here we go. Let's try the business class on the Philippines airline. All right. Nobody to greet me here. Uh, I'm on 5H. 5, 5H, please. That's on the next cabin. Would you like to try Yeah, okay, sure, sure. Perfect. Alright, thank you. Thank you. So here we are. Not bad, not bad. I get some entertainment here. I think it's about three hours to get there, and uh, and we'll, we'll try out all the amenities of, of business class. Uh, so this is the business class on the Philippines airline. Just to give you an idea how much leg room I have. Uh, that's right. I have a lot of leg room here, and I think this. I even have like a storage compartment down here. And as part of the onboarding, I get a towel and a bottle of water. So, I have already been presented with the Philippines Airlines business class menu. So, let's see, what is on the menu? So, I assume we'll be having a breakfast and my choices are prom, chicken or beef. I think I'm gonna go with the beef, all right? And also we have champagne, white wine, and red wines available. Uh, we have liquor, a variety of beers, and of course assortments of juices and coffee and hot chocolate. Gentlemen, for everyone's health and cheese. Mr. Peng, so have you made your choice for your meal Yes, I have. So we're, we're having breakfast. No, this one. Too. Oh, actually we're having a, a regular meal, okay. 
So I'll, I'll do the beef. And what would you like for your drink? Uh, can I get red wine? What are my we choices? Have a selection of red wine here, sir. We have the Rosso Tutti that's Australian or the Australian. I, I think I, let's do the Shiraz. Let's do this one. Okay, so Shiraz and beef. Yes, please. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Well, on this flight, uh, they forced me to put on a mask. Apparently, I cannot take it off uh, unless I'm eating or drinking. So we have to abide by the uh, airline regulations. Also, the, the, the stewardess uh, didn't want to show her face. So we're not going to show her face during the flight. Did not feel as friendly as the Vietnamese airlines like Vietjet or Bamboo Airlines. First impression, just to put that out there. Also, I have to put the luggages in the compartments above me by myself. Nobody helped me. So uh, that was kind of disappointing for a business class. Uh, I think this is the first time I have to do that myself in business class. Also, we're flying Boeing 777-300ER. That's why we're flying today. Oh look, there's a bus in the middle of the grass there. I wonder what that bus is doing there. So this flight is from uh, Ho Chi Minh City to Manila in the Philippines. She took about three hours and uh, I'll be laying over in Manila for about six hours. I'll be meeting our business partner there. I don't know what they're going to do with me. They're probably going to take me out and show me Manila, Philippines. And uh, after that, I'm going to get on another flight from Manila to Vancouver, Canada. And that's probably going to be like a 11, 12 hour flight. And I'm also on the business class there. And we'll be reviewing that as well. I'm hoping that the business class on the longer haul flight will be better. They just gave me a uh, internet card that I can use in a business class. So full flight Wi-Fi, 100 megabyte. Complimentary, meaning it's free. Cool, I'm gonna try that. And then, I can send some emails telling people that we don't have a work from home policy. Okay, I'm gonna try that later. I I'm going to Vancouver. Oh, tonight. Uh, tonight at eight o'clock. You, right? you have a long stay. In the, the I have a six hour stay in in uh, Manila. I think I will enjoy that. <laughs> Are you going out? Then? Uh, I'm gonna take around, uh, look around the city. Yes, yeah, that's right. Near the, near the, just near the airport. I just, so sometimes the traffic is very bad. Yeah. Okay. Guy, I suggest go to. There's this really big mall that uh, probably uh, like that. Uh, just, just go around. Like it's by the bay. Okay. Called, uh, mall of Asia. Mall of Asia. Yeah. Okay. It's very near the airport. So you do not recommend the city center? No. No. <laughs> no, no, no. It's like in Makati. Okay. Uh, although it's a Saturday, but you know, it's very, uh, it's very uh, unpredictable. Okay. Or we'll just have to leave very early. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you for your advice. Oh yay! We're gonna serve food. So this gives you an idea of the general space we have in the business class. There is a lot of legroom. And it's pretty comfortable. So here it is, my uh, meal on this flight. I have some uh, rice, and I guess these are beef balls. And there's my wine. Okay, let's go. Thank you very much. You pour so well. And. I don't know what that is, I'm gonna try it. And I don't know what that is, so of course I'm gonna try it. Uh, it smells strong. Whatever it is, uh, it smells strong. So here we go, let's give it a try. <laughs> My claws had a little stain on it. Mm. Let's try the beef ball. There you go. Dip in this. Dip in this sauce. Mm.
tastes like beef balls. And, um, it's like spicy, uh, spicy meatballs. Let's try this dish here. Oh, I think this is dessert. This is like a... Uh, it's like a brownie with whipped cream. And so I'll save that one for later. And I wonder what this is. This is like a rice cake. Good news. The rice cake salad. Not bad. Doesn't say great, but better than economy. The beef balls. This one. It does feel really dry. Um, not juicy. Wash it down with a bit of wine. I do believe this is like a Philippine cuisine. So one of the benefits of riding international airlines is that you get to sample a little bit of uh, international cuisine, right? So today we're having probably, I'm guessing here, Filipino cuisine. So let's check out the entertainment system, all right? So there's actually a remote control device here, okay? And with this, I assume I can control the monitor over there. So let's see. And yes, actually I would. Oh, I get more wet, red wine. Thank you so much. So now with my, my device, I can decide what I'm gonna do. For example, uh, movies, TV, music, applications, information. Let's see what movies are available right now. So let's check out uh, Fresh from the Box. So that I believe these are new movies. And uh, we have Thor, Love and Thunder. DC League of Super Pets. The Woman King. Bullet Train. Bros, Marry Me. Where the crowd that sing bodies, bodies, bodies. Next page, the beast. 3,000 years of longing. I can't say there's any movie I want to watch. And of course, they give you this headphone. So, open like this. Or not. I don't know how to open this. No, no, no coffee for me. Thank you. Ah, uh, okay. That's how you open this, okay? And then headphones. Now I can watch movies, but I don't think I'll be watching movie on this flight. I, I got to get some work done, and then maybe I'll watch a few movies on my next flight. Okay? You know, it's only ten o'clock Vietnam time. And I'm already drinking. <laughs> I guess I don't have to put my mask on because I'm drinking, okay? I'm drinking. That's my excuse. I'm drinking. Alright, so let's figure out how to use this free internet card, okay? So here's my laptop. And uh, apparently you have to scratch this off. I don't know how to scratch this off. What can I use to scratch this off? I don't know. Maybe my 
maybe my uh, seatbelt buckle, alright? Let's see if that works. Okay, I got the code here. And then I have to go to my internet browser. I have to connect to the Wi Fi. It says in the instructions here, you gotta collect to the Wi Fi hotspot and open up my browser. type in the code and my email address and then I get free internet it's a nice gesture to give me a free internet uh, in business class oh wait it's working it's working okay let's see uh, let's see complement you no know, promo code I have to type in the promo code it says continue as guest all right I think it is working so I am gonna have internet in business class so I can get some work done I don't know it's slow I'm still waiting waiting for a response thank you for choosing my pal Wi-Fi enjoy your session all right I can do some work now okay so uh, I think I've done my work so I sent an email to all staff reminding them we do not have a work from home policy if you want to work from home you need special requests from me I don't believe in work from home. I believe people should work in the office. That's where you are the most productive. You know, when you're working from home, you're not really fucking working, you know? Like, I don't believe in that. Like, you're probably fucking jacking off. Or I don't know what you do, but you're not working at all, right? So if you have special reasons, okay, fine. Then get approval, then you can work from home. But otherwise, you're working in the office. If you wanna take days off? Okay, no problem. We have a system. Request it. Request uh, that you're gonna take some extra days off before or after 10. But we do not do work from home. Alright? Looks like my, my work is done today. So now I have to figure out how this chair works, alright? Because, you know, every time we ride uh, on an airline, we gotta figure out the business class chair, how much it reclines. Also, I, I thought I thought my uh, USB port is charging the phone, but apparently not. So the USB port in the in the in the seat actually doesn't doesn't charge the phone. So I'm down to four percent. So I'm I don't know how I'm gonna uh, use my phone in the Philippines because the uh, the USB charger here doesn't. Damn it. So let's see how far this seat can recline, right? Can I get into a flat sleeping position with the uh, business class Philippine Airline seat? Alright, let's, let's check it out. So actually... So look, I was able to get this seat to go flat. So this is going down. So just to give you an idea... Can actually go all the way flat. Wow! It actually turns into a bed. Look at that. So I still have an hour to Manila, Philippines. Um, so hopefully, after arriving in Manila, Philippines, uh, I will meet up with our business partner there and uh, you know do some things in Manila. That'll be cool, all right? But in the meantime, we still have an hour to get there, so I'm gonna take a nap, okay? It's pretty comfortable in business class because you can get the seat completely flat and just like go to sleep. I love that. Plus, I already finished all of my work today. I sent two emails. That's important, okay? And now I can take a nap. Good night, everybody. Well, actually, no, it's only like 11 a.m. in the morning. But uh, anyways, see you uh, once we're in Manila. Arriving at Manila, Philippines. We're gonna land shortly and uh, that completes our flight pretty much. I don't know if you can see but there's a lot of fish farms down there or you know seafood farming. And we're just coming into uh, the mainland and uh, there it is. And uh, we'll be landing shortly. Uh, looks like an interesting city. And I got six hours here.
so I will take advantage of it. So, uh, so this completes this completes our first leg of the flight to Vancouver, Canada, and uh, I will be reviewing the Manila to Vancouver flight as well. So I'm gonna enjoy my time in uh, Manila. Bye bye. Welcome, welcome to Manila. Bye. Bye. Oh. Got it. Hello everybody. So finally I've arrived here in Vancouver, Canada. So I stayed in the Philippines for about six hours. Sadly, they don't let me go out of the airport because my layover was too short. The custom officer did not want me to leave the airport. So I stayed there and then I caught the next flight from uh, Manila to Vancouver, Canada. And here I am, finally, I'm back home. Even though it doesn't feel like home because, you know, I lived in Vietnam for 11 years and the last three years, I did not even leave Vietnam because of the pandemic. And uh, it feels weird, you know, it feels like I'm not quite sure where is home. And also I was not prepared to feel this cold. The, the weather kind of surprised me. Even though I know it's winter and I'm from Canada, I'm used to the cold. But uh, I didn't realize it's, it's gonna be this chilly. I, I did bring my jacket, but uh, ah, it's, it's, it's chilly. So uh, I'm gonna make this short and hop on a taxi and get back home. Uh, I just wanna make my final comments about uh, Philippines Airlines business class. Well, uh, the intercontinental flight from Vanilla to uh, Vancouver was actually much better quality of service. The food is better. Uh, although, compared to other airlines business class, I still feel that the food is not uh, as good as the other ones. The service is pretty good. The stewardesses, they all have a nice smile, right? And that's expected. Although there's one incident where I asked the stewardess for more wine, and she just smiled at me and did not give me an answer and I did not get the wine. So I don't know what that was about. Maybe she did not hear me, but if she did not hear me, she should ask me, right? And maybe she heard me, but she just doesn't want to give me the wine. So she just smiled at me. It's kind of like when uh, you know, you're trying to ask a girl out or you're trying to ask a girl home or whatever, and they just smiled at you as a, as a form of, of rejection or whatever, right? Um, so I, I thought that that was not, not, not good enough. Uh, overall, I am happy with the, the service at uh, Philippines Airlines Business Class. The entertainment system of my seat doesn't work. So I, they have to actually move me to another seat. So uh, I think that uh, you know, Philippines Airlines should look at uh, the amenities in, in, their, in their aircraft, right? Because in the first flight, the USB charging doesn't work. In the second flight, and entertainment system didn't work, so so that that's that's a negative point for a Philippines airline. Overall, I'm happy with the Philippines airline business class service and experience. I really am in love with the flat seat. You know, I, I actually slept most of the way from Manila to Vancouver, and so that's why I'm so refreshed right now. Usually, when you when you fly by economy, uh, by the time you get to Vancouver, you're so tired. But I don't feel that way because I had a good sleep on the flight. So that's really the most important thing about flying business class. You get a seat that can fold down to a bed and you just sleep there for, uh, for, uh, for a few hours. And that, that felt so good, okay? So I, I would say not fully thumbs up. I would say probably like this. Not like this, but kind of like this for Philippines uh, Airlines uh, business class. Maybe my standards are just too high, all right? So take some fucking action, and when you can fly first class, fly business class, and once you fly in those classes, you'll never want to go back to economy, and you'll fight harder, you'll work harder to stay in those classes. All right? Don't be a fucktard.